MMA star Misha Tate set to make her return to the Octagon Saturday night UFC fight night in Las Vegas. It's a continuation of her comeback tour. Former bandweight champ takes on Ketlin Vieira in the main event. Tate looked impressive in her return from her time in July. She dominated Marion Renault and before that had not been in the cage since 2016. As we take a look at the tail of the tape in this top 10 matchup in the division, the area will have a two inch height and three inch reach advantage. And at Caesars Sportsbook, Tate is an ever so slight underdog at even money. The betting market says this will go the full five rounds. Over four and a half is juiced at minus 160. All right, let's bring in one of the half of the morning combat duo, Luke Thomas, joining us here, CBS Sports HQ. So, look, the comeback tour continuing here for Misha Tate. One of the big themes, of course, her shift in her personal life, changes to her coaching corner. How much of that catches your attention here, her second stint in MMA and the UFC? Some of it. I think some of it's pretty relevant, right, because she had four years off, walked away, had actually began working for another organization, not as a fighter, something of a fighter ambassador role, vice president role, I think, even for one championship in Southeast Asia, but decided, of course, as you indicated, some things were not done in her fighting career, and she wanted to come back, and she switched some things up. But, I mean, to me, it's actually a little bit different. I would actually say it's her change in attitude, her sort of self-discovery is not quite the right word, but tapping into the feelings of not being done and then she did go back to extreme couture when she was there where they have just an absolute bevy of great coaches great sparring partners get you fight ready eric nixick being chief among them i spoke to him in the last few weeks and months as tate has made his return he's got nothing but positive things to say about all the things she's doing so you just you you realize what you want in this life you have the maturity and the hindsight to look back upon some of the things you've done you go back to a world-class camp that just puts out ufc level fighters literally almost every single day and then you get right with them get the right game plan she was a little rusty in her comeback but in the end you saw what made her eventually take down tate how do you think this fight will play out i i tend to think that this is a really tough fight for her to be quite honest with you like the misha tate if misha tate performs up to the highest level of her ability i think she wins this one walking away we just don't really know if that one is back a version of that was back let's say 70 maybe even 80 percent here's the thing though kitlin Vieira, while she is up and down you can see in terms of her wins and losses but you can see on the screen here she's actually favored to win why her takedown defense is at 92 percent she is very stingy in that department now on the feet not so much a bit of a dynamo but that's never been tate's strong suit either so the question is what can tate do to get the takedown and if she can get the takedown how does she win i think she can win it but this one is very 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 competitive also on the do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment